What's going on guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer. And today I thought I would play a, a monkey run in honor of Akira Toriyama, who is not, you know, I, I'm not trying to do stolen valor here, so I'm going to be very upfront. Uh, I never watched Dragon Ball. I've really never even played like Chrono Trigger or um, Dragon Quest. I couldn't remember the name for a second. So I've never really consumed uh, Akira Toriyama's work, but I also, for one, uh, I know a lot of people are tore up about it, but also um, his influence over the things that I love is, is literally all-encompassing. Uh, this is a person whose creative work has influenced the entire world for, for so many things. Like, this is a person whose hand guided so many creative talents in the world. So, I just felt like, and also uh, it was at the request of uh, one of my uh, community members, Kami. So, shouts to Kami as well. But it's a very good idea, and this character, frankly, is... I mean, this is Goku, basically. So, um, yeah, man. I just thought I would, uh, I would do this, and uh, I think it, it, we should have be able to have some fun with this. So, let's grab him. Uh, you know, rip to a legend. Genuinely, I know that sounds like I, I don't know how to say that without sounding, I don't know, weird. Like you know, it, it to me because like I don't know this person, but. I hope his family is doing okay. Not that his family will ever see this, but I genuinely, genuinely hope that his family is doing okay. Um, and yeah, I, I, I don't know. Uh, it's just, it's a very unfortunate thing. And uh, that's really all I have to say about that. But this episode is in honor of uh, Akira Toriyama. So that's all I'll say about that. Let's move forward with a, uh, a Skull the Hero Slayer run on a good note, on a bright note. Um, it, like I said, his creative hand uh, guides so many things uh, monkey skull would not exist in quite the way he does without him so it just that just goes to show how profound this person's influence was on so many things so um hopefully this run goes well from here um i'm very i mean i love playing monkey skull and i took hunter skull just as a treat um because I'm a big fan of uh, Monkey and Hunter. And the thing about Monkey is that I always try and emphasize about Monkey. A lot of people think Monkey is bad. He is not. He is good. Um, the thing about Monkey that makes him good is his swap. His swap is one of the stronger swaps in the entire game. The way that this skull functions, in my opinion, is almost explicitly through his swap. Um, a lot of people always get on my case rightfully so to an extent for not using his down attack as much as i should that's how a lot of people who don't swap in this game summon his clones but uh i personally am of the opinion that that is the inferior way to summon monkey clones the way that you summon monkey clones at later levels of his uh of his rarity tiers is by swapping and you can get a ton of clones out for free without having to use any awkward down attacks to make uh to make uh, clones for him. The thing about his down attack is uh, much like a uh, soldier's down attack, which is his uh, unrivaled strike. This animation here cannot be sped up in any way, shape or form. And you might be saying to yourself, what does that matter? It's already a short animation. Um, it actually does matter uh, later on. And like in tight moments, that being stuck in that tiny animation can be the difference between taking damage and not taking damage. So, um, it, I don't know, it, it's, it's just one of those weird things in this game where, uh, down attacks are not considered skills or basic attacks. I don't even know what the, what the game considers that kind of action, but it can't be sped up through any means that I'm aware of. I don't think it could be sped up, period. If it could be sped up, we would not have as hard of a time playing a soldier as we do. Maybe coming in the 1.9, uh, balance changes, I certainly hope so because that's like the main thing that uh, God of War needs to be good. But that remains to be seen. I really do hope we get some changes on that front though. It It's one of the things that I want to see the most in this game because I want God of War to be good. I also kind of want a distorted curved sword, but um, I don't think I can afford it. It depends, I guess, what I see up here. 
Do I think I could get a prohibited book awakened on a run like this? It is early enough to where I think it would... I guess I have nothing to lose by taking this, but the, the current monkey skill I have doesn't exactly jive well with that. I also don't think I can take the uh, District or Surd, but it's not a big deal. Um, we'll see. If I can get, like, the Buddha Cyclone or something, we can have a better chance at awakening it. There's me missing my fucking shot. Um, at least Hunter, uh, Hunter has, like, a decent skill for, uh, hitting multiple enemies with, like, kind of weaker shots. Uh, multi-shot is, like, a multi-attack skill. Um, also, I guess, uh, what's that one monkey skill called? The, the striking, or it's, like, Heaven, no, 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 Heaven or Slim's the one I like, uh, it's the one where he turns into the staff and then attacks a bunch of times. That would be good for awakening the, uh, the Demonomicon. I think we stand a decent chance at awakening it. As long as our run doesn't get too powerful off item damage early, it shouldn't be a problem, but uh, it could easily turn into a problem. Let's take the skull shards, I guess. None of that was really all that interesting. The The sore item was like, whatever. Uh, I don't really like sore on Hunter because his inner attack is pretty bad. He's only limited to two inner attacks and then he has to fall down. So, I didn't take it there for that purpose, but, um, I don't know. Maybe it was the right choice. Maybe the 500 gold at the minimum was the right choice, but Bone Shards, in my opinion, are more valuable across the board. Okay, this is where I think Heavenier Slime's better than, uh, than a multi-shot for getting multiple, ah, procs. Okay, I have another Heavenier Slime. But like I said, none of these skulls are good at awakening Demonomicons per se. So I might try and swap away from Hunter at some point and see if I can't get a skull who's better at it. Though also building my entire run around uh, around uh, getting my Demonomicon awoken is probably also not very smart. But we'll figure it out as we go. Ow! Oh, into the brambles you go, I guess. Uh, that was your decision, not mine. So, ah! Stop it! Oh, you're the brawler? Wow. How did he even get activated, actually? Wait for him to brawl again. I don't even know how this thing activated, frankly. Uh, do I have an AoE? No. <laughs> I don't know. We'll play. The thing about Dark Elites is they don't really activate until you uh, come in contact with them, so it's kind of strange that he was already firing shots. I didn't even come near him. So Also, I think we're low rolling our doors, which is not exactly great, but... Don't mind if I do take gold percent gain, please. All right, we still have a legendary to find up here. Let's see if we can't get lucky and get something good. Uh, uh, <sighs> the worst item in the game. Okay, all right. Well, I did say I don't want to take a bunch of... Uh, I'm going to get rid of this before I get rid of Veiled Mask. We don't need our crit right now. I did say I don't want to take a bunch of item damage right now, but, you know, like I said, I'm also not building my entire run around the Demonomicon. That would be pretty freaking stupid. Owie! Enough is enough, man. Come on. Huh! Uh, let's get these fools over here. None of these cannon guys lived. Wow. Remember to never try and if you're like doing Demonomicon stuff and you find a plate armor dark elite, you can't get procs of your uh, of your Demonomicon against this guy because he uh, whenever he's on whenever he has the plate armor up, it doesn't count as dealing damage to him. So keep that in your mind. Even though I think most people know that, so worth mentioning, I suppose. Huh. Die to item damage instead of skill damage, thus making me not able to awaken my Demonomicon easier. Yeah. This is kind of nice with it, though, honestly. Like, uh, a Legion guy here to make these guys more tanky. Kind of like it, honestly. I'm kind of down with it. Although, I gotta be careful and not be an idiot. <laughs> and take too much damage here, because it can actually get kind of scary. Is this, yeah, this is another uh, guy I can hit with Legion, or uh, with my thing. Yeah, not bad, not bad, man. And this guy lived, so even more procs. Thanks, bro. 
we're doing all right. I would say uh, 70, uh, 70 hits is pretty good. We may even get 76 here. Assuming this guy doesn't die to a stupid thing. Or, okay, I can still get 76 if he doesn't teleport behind me uh, and say nothing personnel. Nope. <laughs> 74 it is, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. We're fine. We're chilling. All right, you. Mr. Yggdrasil, if that is your name. Parentheses, it is. Uh, I'm not afraid of you, man. Not even a little. Uh, sometimes foolishly so, but it's not going to have an omen here, so good luck actually hurting me. If I had an omen, I'd be a little scared, but... You're slow, and you're lumbering, and you're an oaf, and also, I have no damage. So, we're gonna be here a while. Yeah, the damage shit is, uh, is not good. Uh, I guess I don't have arms or anything like that, so... I mean, it's not like a big deal or nothing, because we'll get damage going into Act 2. And my skulls are good enough to carry themselves uh, in and of it themselves in rooms. But, uh... This Yggdrasil fight's going to probably have... It's definitely going to have an ult in it, which is something I usually like to avoid. Just not because I'm scared of his ult, but because it's time-wasting, and I hate time-wasting. But, uh... It's fine. It's fine. It's just annoying. He's giving me the slow attacks, at least. Giving me more time to deal damage to him. I miss with every single multi-shot proc there. That's crazy. Ow. Oh, yeah. Did I just crit him there? Was that... How would I have done that? I don't think that... I, I, that must have not been a crit. Because I'm in the negatives right now, I think. Yeah. I know Hunter has, like, crit gain, but we weren't even slightly far from, uh, from Yiggy, so... You need to have, have distance between you and the enemy to get Hunter's passive, uh, crit percent. Yeah, we only got one ult there. Not bad. Definitely, uh, better than I was expecting. Like, we killed him pretty quickly out of that. Definitely need to either get a strike run going or ditch this stupid Veiled Mask, because Veiled Mask is, like... Like I said, it's the worst item in the game. It's one of the only items in the game that actively hurts your own if you have it. Could take this, but we... I oh know we do have a speed skull. I could try and build around strike. Uh, at least hedge my bets with a little bit of strike, even though it's really not too smart to do that. Because strike is just atrocious. But let's, let's be a little nutty here. Get a little crazy with it, because we're in the pot. No, we're not in the positives. <laughs> Never mind, I lied. I lied, guys. A cotton bat to really say fuck you to this run and just kill all of its chances right here and now. <laughs> uh, I'll take collection desire. Everything else. I could end up taking coziness, maybe. Coziness is a way to get... Like, if I were going to take coziness, I'd have to take hard shell with it, which is here. Hmm... I feel like coziness is one of those things I should consider more often. The thing about coziness is for it, it like to, to get decent functionality out of it. And oh God, the, oh man, I don't know. Maybe it's a skill issue on my part, but it's like um, once I get to dark skull, I can't gain shield anymore at that point. You need to have a lot of shield already stored up. And... Um, if I lose all my shield in the Dark Skull fight, I don't... Like, Coziness is doing nothing for me in the Alexander fight, you know? So... I don't know. I'll consider it, though. I just find shield overall to be... Like, it's not a very good build around in this game, unfortunately, because there's no... Like, Fortress 2 is unbelievably weak in terms of shield gain. Every 60 seconds, gaining 10 shield is pathetic. I don't know if the devs are afraid of shield or something, and they are, like, hyper-vigilant about balancing it. But that's, like, in desperate need of a buff, in my opinion. Like, that's near unusable. 
I wouldn't even say not even near unusable. It's just unusable. Like, you got to do better than that. Especially, like, in normal mode, maybe. But every enemy in the game deals more than 10 damage these days. Excuse me. Uh, my allergies are acting up. But, um, every enemy in the game deals more than 10 damage these days. And, uh, like... Like, I don't know, just buff buff shield, buff fortress a little bit. And also buff the, um, buff the passive on Dark Paladin a little bit as well, I think. Um, even just, like, 20 shield would be acceptable for Dark Paladin and uh, Fortress 2. Then I would probably start building around it a little bit more. And maybe not every 60 seconds. Maybe every, like, I don't know. Every, ah, every... 30 seconds 45 if you're if you're extra scared um it just seems like too much to me too much for not even that much gain like there's also like, i actually i now i i know for a fact the devs are very scared of of shield because then you have like the meatball in the dark hero fight which has shield destruction for no reason it's like <laughs> oh no like at most he usually takes off like uh I don't know, 30 shield or something. Uh, it just seems like it's such overkill for for not too much uh, not too much to be afraid about. Then again, like I said, it could be a skill issue on my part. Maybe certain people are better at maintaining their shield than I am. And uh, also, we're probably not going masterpiece, but they're probably just better at maintaining their shield than I am, and they don't play as recklessly as I do. So maybe they have an easier time doing stuff like that. Uh, at this point, maybe I ditch the Demonomicon and build full physical strike. It's looking more and more possible, but, like, building a strike run is always so stupid. It never works out the way you want it to. We do already have dense damage scaling, though, is the thing that kind of makes me want to do this. I think, uh, at this stage, I'm probably not building mixed damage at the very minimum, so I can just ditch the, uh, Demonomicon. Clovers are very decent for getting shield up. The thing about a run like this is it kind of hinges on me getting dense crit scaling as well. It's just the overall issue I have with strike as a build around. There's so many things you have to juggle at once. You need dense damage scaling. You need dense crit scaling. You need good strike items. Um... And the thing about uh, Veiled Mask, I said it's the worst legendary in the game. It might even be the worst item in the game. This is true. But it also simultaneously has the potential to be one of the strongest runs you'll, you'll ever have if everything uh, works out correctly. It's just a matter of the game very often doesn't give you what you need to get your run off the ground enough to uh, to get the, the resources. Also, I'm really glad this isn't a dupe potential because this is supposed to be dedicated to a Kira Toriyama. I think this would be the only time I ditch a, a skip, and I think people would understand if I did or <laughs> ditch a skip, ditch a, a dupe, and I think people would be uh, understanding why. But um, the only thing I can say good about uh, the run currently is like the potential for a good strike run is there. Um, however, if I don't see a a uh, reasonable build path soon to strike, I have to ditch the, the build path. It's like everything has to fall into place so precisely to make strike runs happen. Basically, what I'm saying is we need a Thieves Blackstill Daggers uh, very badly. Okay. <laughs> I'm flubbing. I'm flubbing. Okay, we're fine. Get him, Medusa. Show them why you're better than succubus you're the best of you're the best quint in the game he says with uh his fingers crossed knowing that uh also we'll take this knowing that um orc exists <laughs> but still in his heart of hearts hating orc so much that he also kind of means it i really do not like orc guys even though i i acknowledge that it's the best quint in the game I'm just a, I'm a defensive quint guy. I love defensive quints. And, uh, of them all, Medusa reigns supreme. Even better than, uh, Succubus. Yes, I said it.
Come on, come on, stop him, stop him. Okay, he, he ulted. A little slow going here, but that's understandable because we have fucking strike. So, but also uh, not too big of a deal. You're dead. Owned. Thanks for the big heal, man. And what do we got? Hand of Glory. Very good item. Is it what I'm taking here? Uh, it's dense damage scaling. This is crit percent. I need to remember this. Oh, actually, this is probably how I got that crit against Yggdrasil. I'm a fool. People are going to make it say that in the comments, uh, which you are correct. I didn't even think about Golden Whip giving me crit percent at earlier when I was like, ah, that couldn't have been a crit. It probably was a crit, and I probably did it using a uh, Golden Whip. So, Mystery solved. Also, Buddha Cyclone. Sadly, we already ditched the Demonomicon, but uh, that would have been nice for it. Don't really have too much else nice to say about Buddha Cyclone outside of that context, though. Not a big fan of that skill. We're gonna have a lot of money for this shop. The more money, I'm probably gonna be holding on to this treasure for for a while. All the chances I can, uh, ah! All the chances I can get to uh, to see more uh, items to hopefully get a uh, these Lexo daggers eventually. Any chance I can get to uh, see more items is gonna be something I take. So. Gold percent gain. If I see Stone Mask, we're definitely taking that as well. Although it's going to be kind of hard to fit it. But we'll make we'll make do, man. Also, there's kind of an inherent anti synergy with um, with Shield and um, and uh, Golden Whip. So that could end up being problematic if we decide to go the uh, the the coziness route. Uh, I guess that would just make me ditch the. Um, the golden whip so far i still don't see a build path to uh, make uh coziness super good okay commons be gone please had enough of you what are you bad <laughs> that's what you are we have gold percent gain so we will gotcha and uh guess i should probably should just left that on the ground actually this is good enough um, I think I could ditch this, I guess, but then we don't have courage and we need dense damage scaling. I will take this. We, we need crit. We need so much. I could ditch this, but we also need strike, but like this isn't strike I want. So I'll ditch it for now. I would normally buy purple flirt, but I need to find... We need to spend our money looking for items. This is dense damage scaling. I'm building dual four, apparently. Could always get rid of this and buy courage on the pedestal. I think I will. Uh, good lord. I can refresh one more time, I think. I'd have to sell two items. Okay, well it's, it is what it is. It's fine. Um, apparently, I'm building dual four, even though I did that shit like two days ago. For you guys, I think it was literally yesterday, so. No, I think it was two days ago for you guys. Either way, <laughs> uh, I did it very recently. Ah, wait, stop. You're supposed to stop moving. Am I unique or rare? Oh, no, I am unique. I have two skills. The doi. See what the game tried to do there? I said commons be gone, and then it gave me a, a common pile and gave me a rare uh, a rare skull out of it. The game is fucking with me, guys. Oh, God, I got sneeze. <sighs> allergies. It's time. It's officially allergy season, guys. I'm fucked. The hacks that you knew was no more. Because this is the time of year where I am uh, just a mess. What do we got here? Bone shards. Give me that legendary? I get it. Maybe. Uh, I, the only way I don't get a legendary here, and even if I get a common, I think I still get one. But the only way I don't get one is if I see the common. And that's like even 
potentially not the case. It just depends on how many bone shards. Oh, it depends on how many bone shards I get from the room itself when I break the skull pile. It might be just enough to put me over for a legendary. Okay. Trash item, but I, I still, I guess, appreciate the money. Even though I think just money from the thing would have been more, but hey, what are you gonna do? Okay, you need to stop, man. You made your point. You're annoying. We get it. Thank you. Are you kidding me? Oh my god! Why? Three, three common bone piles. Only two of them gave me comments, but like, it's at two, man. Get out of here. Get out of here with your fucking commons, man. I swear to God. Fark commons, ain't yours? Common bone piles in Act Two, Part Two, especially. It's like at that stage, I shouldn't be seeing fucking common bone piles. Now I gotta deal with this unique monkey in Act Three. It's just cruel. At least we can upgrade our hunter, though. Uh, if I'm committing to hunter, I probably am. He's a good strike skull. Ah! Oh my god, okay, hang on. We can't let this happen. No, no, no. Not today, Satan. At least, hopefully not today. Uh, short hair sister, kinda nice to see her, but we haven't done enough damage to the long hair sister yet to make uh, low HP phase two. She's getting low, so I have to leave her alone. Keeping in mind, I occasionally do a giga strike, so or a giga crit. Long hair sister. Damn it! Why? Oh boy. Okay, time to ride the merry-go-round, guys. <clears throat> it's a special time for all of us. Skull the Hero Slayer fans are, at least if you watch my content, you're familiar with this strategy. I don't think people who don't watch me do this, even though they should. Um, <clears throat> but riding the merry-go-round is a, is a part of every Haxa Enjoyer's uh, repertoire of strategies to make Leon Sisters a little easier on yourself. Damn it, I wasn't ready. Now I'm ready. No! Ah! Why'd I say that? Then flub it. She has dual on her as well. I could maybe stand to hit her once. We don't have any random damages, so I can hit her a couple times here. Why'd I do that? Why am I like this? Okay, that actually ended up working out. I did not think that would kill her. Like, straight up. I <laughs> don't know why that killed her, but it did. I guess it was a strike. But as you see, uh, half HP. No! That could have killed me, actually. If she comes down on top of you like that, it can actually fucking kill you. Insane. I fucking despise this fight. Any does anyone know how much I despise Leona Sisters? I hate it worse than Dark Skull. I hate it worse than Alexander. I hate it worse than Dark Hero. I hate it not worse than Act Four Adventurers, but it's a it's a close race to the bottom for uh, Leona Sisters and Act Four Adventurers. You're dead though. Get out of my face. Get out of my face now. Um, crit on swap. That's, uh, sadly, I think I have to take that over a metal box. We already have good damage percent, so I think we're settled on that front. Now we have to worry about other things. 
Dual, 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 dual. I like all of my dual items. Oh, man, is it time to actually say goodbye to uh, money percent gain? There really is no other option here. I guess so. I, I don't know what else to do. I don't like doing this. But, like, all my other stats are so important. <clears throat> we'll see what happens from here. This run's going to get a little interesting. Um, I don't... I don't know if Coziness Hardshell is the play. It's so anti-synergistic in the final part of the game with our with this but i th think it's fine we'll play it i think it's fine um what's my crit right now 25 for all that but when we swap it's 45 <laughs> that just doesn't feel that doesn't feel right to me it's like all all these dark ability slots and that's that's the result it's possible by the end of the run that we can swap off of this if we can just get a thief's blackstone dagger I guess this is me hedge betting a little bit that i don't see a thief's blackstone dagger this would definitely not be correct if i didn't have such dense damage scaling already Wanted to make sure my crit percent was uh, real there for a second. We also have dual four on top of all of this, right? We still have that. Yeah, we do. So on top of everything we currently have, uh, we also have dual four. It's looking to be a decent strike run. It might even end up being possible that I don't build entirely around strike and do the strike two method of strike run building, where you... Uh, stop at the very reasonable strike two, rather than continuing all the way to the very resource demanding strike four. It's always an option. I'd like to do a strike four run though. Imagine strike four with like good uh, crit percent and also the femur. Sounds freaking cool to me, man. Sounds sick to me. Okay, never mind. Uh, ignore that. Yeah. Beautiful. And we're at the shop. That's not beautiful. If you look closely at what the thing Frieza says here, which it's funny that we always call him Frieza, but like this character, if you're playing Monkey specifically, <clears throat> will reference uh, Super Saiyan. I'm old, like that's what one of my chatters told me at least I've, I've never seen it myself because when I'm playing this game it's hard for me to to pay attention to stuff like that but I've trust the chatter um so that's a very cool little thing I could also always take orc god I hate orc I'm not taking orc but I could take orc if I was smart to make up for like damage percent stuff but I hate orc and I have bigger fish to fry here what are you Bone? Oh my god, you're gonna show me bone clone stamp? Fuck you. Oh, bone box as well? What the hell? Okay, I can't think too much about that. <laughs> Just think about how that has absolute zero on it and be like, hey, yeah, dodge the bullet. And we got the these black so daggers. All right, that kind of changes things a little bit. Um, I might get rid of coziness and uh, I also might get rid of this because I think at this point we don't need it. In that case, maybe I just keep coziness. But now we have at our max, um, we have, uh, we're at 25 now. So 65, 85, we have 85 crit at our max minus 30 from that will be 55 crit, um, with it, like it, in the dark skull fight with, uh, if I lose all of my shield, Might have to start buying clovers in shops to make up for uh, stuff like that. Also, still have to figure out how to get strike four on this build. We're at strike two, right? 
if I'm going full strike here, which I do want to, don't have to, but I want to, um, I have to figure out a way to fit that on the build. But right now, we already have a good... This, this run's powerful, as you can tell. This run is currently uh, working out quite well for me. Also could benefit me to actually concentrate on this Hunter run. Because Hunter recently got the crit damage incentive for concentration. When you, um, when you fully concentrate a skill. This is like, normally I'm an advocate for not concentrating on Hunter runs. Uh, on this one, potentially, worth. Would be nice to have something like the, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, attendance pauldrons to make concentrating a little easier for me. Owie. Also, a sin is here, which I probably almost certainly am not taking, but it's on the table. What do you got here? It's the chase sin. Pass. We don't even have misfortune yet, actually. I'm realizing uh, there's still a lot of crit percent gain potential on this build. Would be really nice to see the Hunter's Wooden Longbow. Or the Hunter Legendary, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> what are the odds of that happening? Oh, look, there she is. But she wouldn't possibly drop it, right? I mean, come on. Come on. Like, no way. It's just not going to happen. Come on. Don't, don't do it, Huntress, please. I would hate that. I grr, that's me even thinking about you having the audacity to do something like that. Grr. Also, why am I fighting this like this? I'm ignoring the fucking cleric. Not smart. Can you get out of here, ninja? You're just a plague on the battlefield. Loser. Uh, she w oh my god! <laughs> In honor of Akira Toriyama, baby. The game's RNG knows. What the fuck? Uh, uh, oh god, what do I do now? People are going to say it's rigged. I was joking. I swear to God, I didn't rig it. I swear to f Lord up in heaven. I don't know what to do now. I guess this goes. I uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. This is about to be my strongest run of all time. This might actually be my strongest run of all time. <laughs> this is proof that the game is sentient. This is actually just proof. It's proof. People will say, I, people will say I'm, I, it's not proof, but this is proof. It's undeniable proof. I, at this stage, I think I just get rid of the monk of this. I could also ditch this, but it's so much dense damage scaling, which this run needs. This is 20% crit rate, which is kind of nothing on a run like this. But it's also not nothing. It's simultaneously so much. You could say get rid of, of this... But I also kind of like that this run is dual four. That's such immense power for my uh, for my strike, and it's also crit. If anything were to go, it would be this, but I don't want it to go. But at the same time, what is seventy damage percent? In fact, it's uh, that's okay. It's not just seventy damage percent. It's actually a lot. Uh. Oh, heavens. I can't ditch it. I can't. It's stuck. It's stuck on the run. Because it's also arms as well. It's actually 115 damage. Okay. The, the bunny goes. Proof of fellowship. Bye-bye. Um, don't like to say that, but it is what it is. It's the only thing that makes sense here. And some bone shards on top to, to wash it all down, I suppose. Normally, I would upgrade my Hunter here first. 
but I'm going to upgrade my monkey because of the run, uh, what we're doing here. And moving forward, this run just shoots into the stratosphere. I can't act I can't believe that they actually gave me that. Uh, shouts to the sentient devs who are watching me and and like the Wizard of Oz pulling the strings, creating uh, RNG. I guess they are uh, they're with me here in honoring Akira Toriyama. What's my damage out <laughs> on a strike run? That's grody. That's just nasty. So now we change our pedestal in the shop. Uh, to the um, also I have to keep in mind I do lose like if I don't get my shield up um, I do lose crit in the end game so instead of being um, 90 it would be 60 or I could always just stop playing recklessly all the time and play very carefully but that's asking a lot from me I is who I is. Ah. Come here, you. Even dare enter my zone. See what happens. Don't forget the min max. All right, we're about to finish building these two up to legendary as well, which is really nice. This runs just nice across the board change this to strike and i guess we did it <laughs> we did it grab this i guess even though buying this early is kind of weird i could start playing carefully moving forward man i want this too could ditch this for it you know what i think i will it's less damage in the short term but in the long term, it's about the same. Sorry, my freaking allergies, man. But it's about the same in the long term. Um, if not, maybe a little more. Okay, we're starting to see the Giga Strikes come out. Ah! What's happening? <laughs> Why did he stop? <laughs> It's like this is this is like ultra giga strikes with uh with veiled mask, the worst item in the game. Still, by the way, still the worst item in the game. I don't care how good this run is. Veiled mask is the worst item in the game. Um You know, like it's very easy to get super hyper fixated and biased about one extremely lucky and powerful run. This run is so enormously lucky. Like, we're not gonna see something like this again for a very long time. Uh, you definitely can't build your, your sample size off of one run, you know? And the sample size points to the undeniable reality that Veld Mask is terrible. Come here, now! Uh, uh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh... Is this the is this the pick? It's it feels like the pick. The problem is is I can't get brawl, so I lose 25 damage percent on rapidity. I'm not gonna lie, I actually think this we it it seems like the correct pick. It may well be the correct pick, but I'm sticking with Forbidden Sword. I'm sticking with my my heart and soul here people are going to complain at me in the comments uh but i think it's the correct play go away from me all right what we got left is it okay there's actually a lot of these fools Okay, I don't want to lose too much shield here. I could have easily dodged that conductor orb. I don't know why I didn't. Because I'm do do dumb, I guess. We're also done building our skulls. We're, man, this run's starting to turn kind of crazy. Kind of crazy, I say. This run's already been crazy, but like I'm, I'm getting lucky in a lot of regards, especially considering this is a low roll door run. That makes it all even crazier to me.
Okay, gotta really be careful about concentrating when and where I choose to concentrate because uh, that was easily avoidable damage that I just took for no good reason. Remember that she's un uh, unmovable, unstoppable. I, I couldn't think of the fucking way they describe it. Also, I just lost all my shield. This is why I'm probably not the best person to play with coziness. <laughs> I'm just too reckless, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll be okay. Um, give me HP, please. I'll take my max HP. Show me a good curse. Trance is okay. Is it good enough? I mean, probably. It's strictly damage scaling. Sure. Also, let's not forget to finish out coziness here. By the end of the run, though, I might sell that. I don't know. Now we have more crit rate, though. So we have a 100% crit rate, actually. Uh, <laughs> funny how that works, I suppose. Now we have legendary, uh, legendary bow, uh, hunter, too. I'm liking this, man. I'm liking where this is heading. I gotta say, big fan. Big, big fan. Number one sub. This is like, uh, the kind of, uh, skull run you don't see often. 119. Yeah, we're getting so much damage off of that shit. It's crazy. Boom! Just insta-death. Also, look who it is. It's our pal, the Harpy. That's an NPC you're never sad to see. She has your fucking back. Unlike some of these Mother Hubbards. Can you stop firing orbs? We're vibing out here, dude. Stop. You're ruining the vibes. Dumbass lantern. You're annoying. Skull shards, please. I could actually see some real benefit on a run like this to, uh, rather than scaling my max HP, scaling my damage. I might do that. I'm trying to create the world's craziest run out here. But also, like in, I like living. Like, the, the run isn't the world's craziest run if I die stupidly. But, like, come on. I'm not going to die. I have Hunter. I have, I have Hunter and Monkey. They're too good. They can't die. They uh, No one's ever lost a Hunter and Monkey run. If I wanted to... Is there a dual item I don't like here? Not really. Like, all these dual items are doing something good. Oh, yeah, and also I have this. Okay, never mind. We're scaling our max HP. I actually forgot for just a brief moment. Okay, there's our, our second shot at the uh, the gunpowder sword, but I'm firm in my stance. No thanks. Pass. But I appreciate the offer, I guess. Kind of. Not really. I do kind of appreciate the offer. I still don't know if I made the correct play there, but I think I did. A gunpowder sword is just kind of a shiny distraction when damage percent is really what we want on a strike run. Which maybe I, the real shiny distraction that I might have taken earlier is the uh, forbidden sword. That might actually be the shiny distraction of this run that I actually fell for. It's possible keeping the, um, hang on, let me focus here because this is a nasty run, but it's possible keeping the, uh, the golden sword was just better. Screw you, man. Ah! Leave me alone! Ah! Stop! In the name of good vibes, fuck off. Man, dude, I hate these... They're like the worst enemies in the game, and not actually. <laughs> but let's pretend they are for a second. I despise the uh, the freaking orbs that float around. They're so awful. I don't even have misfortune on this run, man. It's just kind of setting in. <laughs> Very weird run building for me. Normally, I don't have coziness. I do gotta put some respect on coziness name every once in a while. It's a it's a good crit scaling option. It just falls off in the late game.
Uh, who are we getting here? It don't really matter to me, I guess, but... Who are you? Okay, it's you. Uh, he's gonna die in, like, two seconds. Well, not really, but, like, point being, he has no HP. He also has the potential of shredding all of my shield away, but... Stop transporting across the entire map, man. Quit it. Stop! In the name of me having a good time. Get this. Get this. Get this. Take, take this. Oh, that wasn't even the real him. Take this. And this. Okay, we win. Easy. Dunked on. I didn't even lose any HP, I don't think, or shield or anything. Also, is it my t is it time to take orc? It's time to take orc. Eventually, I have to fucking swallow it. My pride, that is. <laughs> and uh, just take the stupid fucking orc. I hate orc. God, I hate orc. But it is what it is. I can accept when it's like the best pick. And it is the best pick here. I just have to remember I no longer can uh, press my quint button to get out of a, a pickle. I have to press my quint button to, to create the pickle. But at least we insta-killed that guy. Oh, and also we're getting this uh, NPC. A lot more useful than normal. Ah! I thought he was dead. Fuck. Keep, let me keep my shield, man. Come on. Ah, oh, man. My shield. Get critted out the wazoo. dead you need to remember to let enemies spawn their like little ally guys i think this is all i'm going to spend in this shop because um there's still the very narrow possibility that i want to ditch my um like it's not probably not going to happen but if i see like a good curse or something there's a chance that i want to ditch my um coziness and hard shell it's more than likely not happening though I don't even know what could get me off coziness and hard shell at this point. Oh, they all, how did those guys die? I don't even know. What are you? Strike Omen would go hard, frankly. I would have to consider it here. I will just take the money. I still need bone shards. I want to make my, we're probably, this might be the final room before Joan, but I'd like to scale my, um, my also there's our dark elite i'd like to scale my max hp to full to the maximum possible ability like wait, this isn't even a particularly powerful uh hand of glory yet still has the chance to be though and it i think by the time i scale my max hp with whatever i get here it should be good i'm hoping this is a skull room over here it is Will you look at that? I think we'll be able to do it. You can leave that on the ground. Let a bird eat it or something. I don't know. There's a couple of hungry birds on your head. I think she has birds on her head, doesn't she? Wait, no! I need... Wait, actually, I don't need you to summon your friends because we're about to awaken our, our thing here anyways. On a Dark Elite, no less. Alright, you guys are all dead. I win, you lose. It's, it's that simple. No, not today. Uh, 1183. Without Orc. We got there. And also, will you look at that? That's a max scale on my max HP. 270 max HP. You'll love to see it close to 300 it's not going to be a max scale on my hand of glory but it's close and it's good enough because hand of glory is extremely dense damage scaling with a really good inscription on top of it
This run's crazy, guys. This run is... It speaks for itself. It really does. Now watch this drive. See this drive? Pretty good, huh? You like it? Way to ruin the fun, John. Kind of weird. You're weird, John. No one likes you at school. Now you're dead. What do you got? Uh, really nothing here that could sway me off of what I'm doing. Max HP is the best thing here. It's actually still possible. I can... Actually, no, it's not. I can only go 295 from here. If only I had a legendary Quint there. Uh, all bad. Is there anything... Like, I don't even really care about, like, go-getter is the thing. I think that's maybe why this was the incorrect pick. Because, like, this is the only... Like, it's still good. And it probably is still better. Rapidity, at the minimum, is probably better than Treasure 1. But, at the same time, uh, the, the damage scaling on the Golden Sword is more dense. Only by 10. Okay, never mind. No, this was the correct pick. It was the correct pick. And actually, when you think about it, it's le so this is higher damage thanks to go uh, Collection Desire. So it is what it is. I think we're big chilling. I think I did the the correct run building on this run. Let me make sure. I, yeah, we're, we're done with this one. All right. Max scale this. Uh, send our damage even higher, if you can even imagine it, than it currently is. With Strike. <laughs> that's the thing that's impressive about this run. Um, and now... We're just, we're just kind of, it's the end game. The end game gauntlet, um, which I am not a little, even slightly afraid of. The main thing I need to do here is make sure I keep my shield against Dark Hero. Because I only have 84 of it, even though I can potentially get more in this shop if I can find some clovers. Also, might juggle this Quint, depending on what it is. It is a uh, legendary. I will juggle that. Okay. Good enough for me. Uh, we're going to get even more damage here. Sadly, not max scaling our Hand of Glory, which maxes out at 300. But it's going to be 116. 115. I'm stupid. Uh, but anyway, here's our kit. Uh, this is the high roll strike run. You don't see this very often. Uh, it, it's very luck dependent. And um, I think I've only gotten it a few times. If you force strike... For one, my run building advice is always never force builds. But if you're one to force builds, you will see this build more often than I do. But I always go with the flow of RNG, what the run offers me, and what makes sense in terms of uh, consistent victories. And if you're building runs to consistently win them, you will not see this run very often because it is a rare run. Because strike requires so much of you to juggle at once. But every once in a while, if you're lucky enough, you will see the uh the tools fall into place so you can juggle the strike strategy and get the giga strike run the, sadly as always we're missing hunter's wooden longbow to uh, uh come along with this one um i never see that shit also i should activate my he's unstoppable So close to stopping him from the Giga ult. Oh, we are stopping him from... He didn't even jump yet. What am I talking about? He's dead. <laughs> okay, good good shit, I suppose. <laughs> I, think we're in, I think we're in good shape. All right, you. Bring it on, baby. I, I don't know why I said baby. <laughs> Bring it on, Pops. Whatever your, whatever your name is today. You're not going to have a good time. But also, I'm not either, because I just I lost all of my shield. I'm a fucking moron. Well, I did the thing I said I shouldn't do here. The one thing I needed to make sure I do here is keep my shield, and I just lost it all to a uh, to a orc uh, hero attack. But I think we're fine. Even if we lose all of our shield for, a hero, for Skull, um, we should still be okay. And we're going to have, like, 40, so... It's really Alexander I'm more worried about when it comes to something like this. We're going to be minus 30% crit rate. 
But I think even if we're only um, 70 crit, I mean, it's 70 crit. That's more than enough to consistently proc for the uh, femur. We got this. We got this, man. We built this city. What we got? 49. That's more than enough. He says. Unsure. It's fine, bro. It's fine. We may even have like 50 here. I forget what hard shell guarantees you. How much does hard shell? 64. That's more than enough. Come on, baby. Come on. All right. Anyway, we're not taking modified duel. We're taking modified strike. Crits, uh, critical hits have a 10% chance to turn to even more deadlier strikes. Obviously, the more crit rate you have, the better something like this is, which is why I'm really hoping I can keep my, uh, my shield for the upcoming gauntlet. I don't think there's any chance in hell I lose this unless I misplay with Orc, which could happen. Um, I'm just more worried about um, keeping my shield for Alexander more than anything else right now. That's my main concern. We'll see how it goes. Bring it on! Uh, uh... Okay, we already sent him into the uh, ult. That's good. We still have a decent amount of crit here. Or, uh, shield. Okay, never mind. There it goes. <laughs> Okay, we're officially out of shield, basically. We'll be fine. <laughs> I say, unsure. I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine. Technically, we still have shield, which is funny. Oh, I meant to actually hold that. It's fine. How many times are I going to say it's fine? It actually is fine. Keep my eye on what he's doing. Ah, no! My shield. Wait. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, but it's fine. Um, I just wanted to, I wanted to press tab to see what my crit is. 32? Wait, is it actually 32? No, it's 68. Okay, that's fine. 68's fine. We can handle a 68 crit rate. Just okay here. Is he going? No, no, actually, we, we're not sending him to the Giga ult. You're so fucked, man. You should have gone into your Giga ult. Straight up. <laughs> now you're, like, dead before you can do anything, basically. I wish I had a little more Mutant or Purple Flirt, because, like, I keep trying to swap, and I can't do it. And this is, like, a very swap-heavy run in general. Oh, I fucked up there. I thought I was Hunter. I don't know why I thought I was Hunter swapping. Whoops. Okay, what am I doing? I, what am I doing? Hey, okay, I gotta get my head in the game. I'm fucking up. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> barely stopped his ass. I really wanted to stop him there from uh, doing the giga ult. Everything's fine. Uh, we take the femur here. If you don't know what femur of despair is, increases physical and magic attack by 4% for 3 seconds upon landing a critical hit. Actually, pretty important. Um, critical and max of 80. Crit damage increases by 55% when this effect reaches its maximum value. This might well be the fastest uh, Alexander kill we're going to see in a long time. I don't know. I, I, I've not had a run like this until this point. 
Look how much less damage we have, though, when we don't have any uh, shield. I am almost certain you don't get shield from this transition. You might. I hope you do, because then we can get our 30% back. But um, I don't think it does. We'll see. And then, even then, I'm probably going to lose it fairly quickly. Because you guys know me. You know how I play. I'm reckless. Shield? Yeah, shield! Let's go! Make it count. It's already gone. <laughs> yeah! But I think it's completely fine. I mean, look at how much damage we're doing. Look how often I'm getting the Giga Crit. Okay, he almost went into the annoying invulnerable phase, but thankfully we didn't give him the chance. But yeah, strike runs have like the highest ceiling in the game for potential br brokenness. And this isn't even the highest potential uh, strike run. Like we're missing Hunter's Wooden Longbow. We're missing like the new strike bow that's a mystery bow. I don't remember what that bow is called uh, yet, but that's another item we're missing uh, that could have made this run even crazier. Not that it matters. At this stage, it's all hair splitting. But, um, like, I, just to point out that this is not even the strongest strike can get. Not that I'm trying to glaze up strike or anything. Strike is still extremely wildly inconsistent as a, a build around. Get down here. Uh, he's going into the rift. Can't let him. Can't get rifted while I have orc up. Freaking monkey swap clutch, baby. <laughs> that was actually a pretty scary moment, I would say. And this is actually also kind of a scary moment. I have to be careful. Okay, we got through it. Uh, okay, hang on. I'm playing like a fucking idiot. Oh, no. Okay, uh... I would hate to flub here at the final stretch, so let's just play very carefully moving forward. Uh, this is what I get for trying to dodge at the debris phase and failing. But I'm not scared of dying yet, for the record. Uh, I'll let you know when I'm scared of dying. We're gonna get out of this pretty much immediately here. Um, it's all about execution in alexander phase three i'm not scared of losing yet i just fucked up there and lost my reassembly like an idiot i was very desperately trying to dodge the debris phase which is something i've criticized myself in the past for doing it's it's a bad habit i sometimes you just gotta even though like this run really should never go into the debris phase um and i didn't expect it to but sometimes you just gotta let yourself go into the debris phase and it's also frankly a oh hang on oh, i need to not get too uh, vibed up, yep. Oh, he's doing the scary move. Okay, now he's dead. He fucked up. Yeah, we win. But still, a little tighter than I would have liked it to be, if I'm keeping it real. But it is what it is. Everything's cool. That's all that matters. GG's. Uh, we can see the transition here. I th no, that's not the transition. It's, like, way up here. So that's interesting. That's weird. I want to get the, uh... Actually, here's what I want to do. Actually, we, we need to make this a monkey windscreen, so let's do it like that. Is that a monkey windscreen? I think it is. It is. GG's, baby. GG's. You love to see it. Good run, man. What a great run to honor Akira Toriyama with. Um, definitely a very rare build. You're not going to see... Man, I can't still can't believe I got the fucking... <laughs> can't believe I got this item when I was like... that's People are going to call this rigged. <laughs> which uh, even I would think this is rigged, <laughs> but I, I don't know. Uh, it, I don't know. I can't, it, I can't fucking explain it. It just happened. <laughs> it just happened, man. But uh, seeing the one of the best items in the game, definitely the best strike item in the game on a strike centered run is not something that's going to happen very often. Um, very interesting always when you make Veiled Mask work as an item. 
it's so hard to make Veiled Mask work, but when it works, it works. Um, and here it popped off hard. Um, the orc is definitely something I, I'm glad I took it, I guess, but I just despise this Quint so much for so many reasons, but like it does make a run that much more powerful. I mean, look at our max damage. That's because of orc, or I, I guess that's because of strike enhanced plus, uh, plus femur. I don't even know what this would have come from. Maybe heaven earth slam. I can't think of any other attack I have that deals even slightly decent damage. Maybe it came from... I mean, really, it came from uh, Heaven Earth Slam, almost certainly. Uh, and Heaven Earth Slam is not even that good for damage. It's just the best thing I have. So, very interesting. Um, very rare run. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I, I This is a banger run. Actual unironic Giga Strike. It just never happens. On top of that, having dual four. On, like, that's so crazy, man. That just doesn't happen. Like... This is such a high roll. It's just sad that it's missing Hunter's Wood and Longbow. Definitely would have gotten rid of this for Hunter's Wood and Longbow for sure. Easiest decision of all time. But it doesn't matter at this point because we did it. We got the run. It was cool and interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. Uh, also, I guess I should point out, I don't know if coziness is, is was a correct decision here. I don't know what this could have been besides coziness. I guess um, short, short, what's that one? Shorthand? The one that amplifies your damage when you're like standing on top of an enemy maybe would have probably actually would have been better here um because the thing is it's like 70 percent crit rate or 68 whatever it ended up being is more than enough crit rate to to pull off good uh strats here so i don't know if we needed coziness here in hard shell so this would have been like shorthand or whatever it's called i'm pretty sure it's called shorthand this i don't know maybe predicted pain maybe the one that amplifies your damage on your skills like in the opposite like the one that does it every once in a while um it could have also been um what's it called how can i how am i forgetting one of my last resistance good lord guys fucking hacks of flubs left and right but uh, it could have also been last resistance. I don't know. But either way, I don't really regret taking coziness uh, and hard shell here. It's at least nice to experiment with some things. Uh, point being, uh, I don't know. This is definitely not the highest rolling uh, strike build you'll ever see. But it's close. Because most strike builds aren't going to have this with them. <laughs> this here made everything insane. So that's really all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, uh, RIP to a legend, I suppose. That's, I, I'm trying to, like, I know it doesn't sound sincere, but I am very sincere. Like I said, I'd never watched any or played any of his games or watched any of his shows uh, or read his manga, but um, he definitely had uh, an insane, un, like, there is no way to quantify the level of, uh, of influence that he has had on things that I love with all of my heart. Uh, from Hunter Hunter to One Piece to video games, all different kinds of things. In pop culture, he he was a titan. And uh, like I said, I hope his family is doing well. That's really all I can say at a time like this. But uh, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are grieving. A lot of people. So that's really all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all, and I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.